So, just another quick video about a major new feature that's been added to the latest version of Virtual TDA 2021, which is build 6646 at the time of this recording. And that is a brand new uh, default keyboard mapping and a few extra functions. And this is actually important to all users because even though uh, you may not be using the keyboard uh, with Virtual DJ, it'll still affect the way you search and stuff like that. So uh, you need uh, to know this stuff. So I, I've already seen a couple of pitfalls with this. So let's start with those uh, for people who might experience problems at the moment. And the first one is uh, people who uh, uh, downloaded and upgraded to this uh, version without knowing about the new uh, keyboard feature, the new keyboard uh, mapping, and um, simply posting on the internet, why is my keyboard not working anymore? Well, it is, it's just working differently. And then the second pitfall is, well, I downloaded a new version expecting to get new keyboard stuff, but I can't seem to trigger it. Why is that? Well, that's probably because you have another mapping selected. So let's let's tackle those two first. So it's still done in the, sec the same place. So inside the settings here and inside the mapping, and we have the keyboard, cust uh, keyboard ma mapping here. So you can see mine is set to custom mapping. And that means that when I downloaded and upgraded this, I didn't get any new features. So that's the second pitfall because, well, the virtual DJ respects that I have a custom mapping, so it hasn't overwritten that in any way. It just works like it always works. So that's one a pitfall. And if I want to try the new stuff, then I need to go to factory default. And if I want to change something, then I need to change it again. So, um, so that was uh, the second pitfall. And the first pitfall, of course, being that you are at the new factory default and uh, say, well, it doesn't work, nothing works. Why does nothing work with my keyboard? Well, that's because it's all brand new. But if you want the old stuff, you can go into factory default legacy, and then it works like it did in the last version and the versions before that one. So that's how you get the old stuff back if you need that, at least uh, for the time being, and then you can test it later. But for this video, we of course want to go into the new stuff. Like this. So why have this been done? Well, uh, according to a couple of the developers uh, on the Virtual DJ forum, it's because there's been a, a few complaints that if you, if you wanted to do a search and you were unaware that you were not in the search field, you could mess up. So let me just switch back to the old default mapping for a second. So keyboard and legacy. Now, when I, if I uh, was playing a track, and wanted to do a search, I click into the search field, and then I, for instance, put P to do a search for B. That's nice. But if I was not focused on the search field, if that was not in focus, and I just pressed P because I wanted to do a search on P, the other track started playing, because that was my current deck right now. And the same with C for queuing and stuff like that. So people accidentally triggered some of the stuff, uh, some uh, of the hot, hot cues when trying to search. So that's the main reason why this has been changed. Uh, because that won't happen if you go into the new version of the keyboard mapping. So if we go into factory default, the non-legacy one, the new one, this one, then P does nothing and C does nothing except search. So as you saw, even if I'm someplace else, my focus is elsewhere. When I press a letter, it automatically switches the focus to the search field and starts searching for that letter. So uh, that's, really, uh, that's really to avoid this kind of mistakes. So you don't need to go into the search field uh, anymore, just press the letter. Now this is not the case for all keys. Uh, only the one that you probably want to search for. So of course it's not going to do that for uh, uh, for control or shift or whatever because that's assumed that that's part of a uh, of something uh, you want to trigger some part some keyboard mapping you want to trigger. But for regular keys, it goes into the search fees automatically. It actually does this by uh, having a new little uh, new little uh, mapping for a field called unmapped. So if you trigger something that's unmapped, which would be all the letters, for instance, in this one, then it goes into the search field. So unmapped is mapped 
for going into the search. You can actually map it for everything, but that's how it, everything works, so you probably shouldn't. So, uh, so that's nice and fine, but now you need to learn the new stuff. So well, well, how do you get to the new stuff? Well, of course, there's a documentation for it, and I'll link that in the description, and that's nice, but there's also an overlay. So now if I hold in the, the Alt key, at least on PC, the Command on Mac, I believe, but Alt on PC, I get an overlay. And it'll stay there as long as I hold the key. When I let go, it's gone. So why I hold, I hold this? I can use all these letters in the screen, like the letter one for play, the letter two for Q on the left deck, and it's seven and eight for the right deck, and all this kind of stuff uh, down here. And also for mix now, also for crossfader, uh, and also for space, which is emergency play. Space used to just play, but now it's emergency play, but only if it's combined with alt. So, uh, and also a tap, doesn't switch uh, uh, pre fade listen or decks or whatever anymore. Uh, that's up to uh, the half key up here. So uh, those are the default ones, and you can indeed change them, uh, just like you have always been able to do. So that's the overlay. But of course, some people use this stuff all the time. So, uh, uh, so can they, in an easy way, uh, get to a situation where they don't have to hold down the Alt key all the time, and they can because they can just double click it, double click the Alt, and, this, and then it'll stay. And then you can actually use the entire keyboard to to do all your your DJing basically based on on all this mapping. And you, and you also get a little thing up here called Keyboard Alt, so that's how you know that uh, that now it's sticky, sticky keys is up there, and then you can just click Alt again to remove it. So that was the old day and the sticky keys would, would double click. So that's basically the new feature. And of course, it's gonna take some, some getting used to, to do uh, all this stuff. I just wanna mention two more things that are a little bit older. And as you probably saw just before, there are a few other mappings now included in by default. And that is the record box compatible and the Serato compatible. And the idea being that is if you're moving to Virtual D-Day from these two products, uh, competitive products here, um, then, then you can bring the keyboard shortcuts that you know along with you. So if I select record box, for instance, then this stuff is mapped just like it would be in a re record box. And the same for Serato. Uh, now it's just how it would be in Serato. And this is, of course, also documented uh, in, the, in the new section in the manual. So I'll also link to that in the description. But that's basically all about this new, I have the right now at least, about this new, uh, this new uh, default keyboard mapping and what it means and what it does and some of the pitfalls uh, that are part of it.